A beautiful and successful woman learns to be careful with what she says when she ends up having a sloppy, underachieving man as her last option for romance. On Christmas morning, Liliana wakes in her luxury home while in an untidy apartment. A sweaty Pequena struggles to get up. As the gorgeous woman begins her day with a morning run, Pequena merely wipes off the dirt from an old coat, splashes water on his face, and applies soap on his armpits in a futile attempt to make himself look presentable. After working out, Liliana prepares her healthy breakfast while Pequena eats a greasy meal directly from the pan and tosses it into a pile of dirty dishes in a sink. Upon arriving at work, Liliana receives admiring glances from men. Her assistant Marta gives her a run-through of her schedule for the day. They then excitedly chat about the Christmas party later that night, where Liliana plans to make a move on her office crush, Camilo. Speak of the devil, Camilo arrives and coolly greets the giddy women. The dashing man then gives them a charming smile and a wink, letting them know that he'll see them later at the party. Meanwhile, Piquini arrives to work late for the third time that week, so he gets reprimanded by Marquitos, the security guard at the entrance. When he exits the elevator, Piquini is joined by Lopez, his colleague whose fashion choices he always picks on. As they head upstairs, the men cross paths with Camilo, who completely ignores Piquini's attempts at a high five. Piquini comments that the man is a stuck-up, acting as if he's the boss. Lopez reminds him that Camilo is their boss, but his annoying co-worker just criticizes his vest in response. Upstairs, Liliana and Marta continue daydreaming about Camilo, but their giddiness is caught by the unwelcome presence of Piquinia, assuming he's the one they're talking about. Horrified at his lack of self-awareness, Marta tells him to get lost, but he gives them a playful smile before going away, oblivious to how he grosses them out. Later, Liliana gives a presentation to their client while subtly exchanging flirtatious looks with Camilo. Meanwhile, Piquinia's loud snoring echoes in the workplace as he sleeps in his cubicle. Lopez overhears him and opens the door, making the man fall. He scolds Piquinia for sleeping, but the latter pretends that he was meditating. The defensive Piquinia proceeds to mock Lopez's vest again before storming off, threatening to report the incident to human resources. Defeated, Lopez ends up agreeing with his opinion and takes his vest off. That night, Liliana tries out outfits to impress Camila, but Marta informs her over the phone that he has already arrived at their Christmas party, so she must hurry. Meanwhile, Piquinia and Marquitos get drunk in the back of a truck, though the latter points out that they have the Christmas party to attend. The sloppy man insists that he needs some liquid courage first, because his New Year's resolution is to stop being single. Marquitos asks if he fancies anyone, and he reveals his admiration for Liliana, which baffles the security guard since the woman is out of his league. Still, his friend insists that Liliana may be distant and serious, but he knows that, deep down, she's shy and lonely. At the party, Liliana makes a dramatic entrance and catches Camilo's attention. She beams at him while he checks her out with interest. Their moment, however, is broken when Piquinha collapses upon his arrival while Marquitos tries to help him get up. As the party commences, Liliana reads a passage while dreamily staring at Camilo. When it's Lopez's turn to speak, Piquinha snatches his pamphlet away to read it instead. Despite his bruteness, he sincerely delivers the lines to Liliana until Marquitos drags him away. Moments later, Marta signals that it's time for Liliana to make her move. Before she can, however, their plan is halted by the sudden appearance of Lorena, the new sales manager, who immediately throws herself over Camila and kisses him. Elsewhere, Piquinha and Lopez have a drunken confrontation as the latter criticizes the man for being an embarrassment. Marquito separates the two and tries to get his drunk friend to go home. However, Piquinha is still filled with delusions about Liliana. Unbeknownst to him, his dream woman is still waiting for her chance to get her dream man alone. Once Lorena leaves Camila's side, Liliana tries to approach him, but Piquinha blocks her. The unwashed man rambles about his overflowing admiration for her, but she diverts his attention towards Marta, lying that her assistant likes him. However, she misses her chance when Lorena returns to flirt with Camila. Convinced that Marta likes him, Piquinha talks to her privately to confess that his heart already belongs to Liliana. The assistant dismisses him in disbelief for thinking he has a chance with her boss. Marta then returns to her boss and distracts Lorena away from Camila to give her a chance. As luck would have it though, Piquinha appears again and ruins Liliana's moment. Angered, she pushes him inside the bathroom, where she brutally states that he'll only have a chance with her if he's the last man on earth. She rushes outside afterward, but Marta reveals that Camila has already left with Lorena. Thus, her plans for tonight have failed. An intoxicated Liliana later rants to Marta about Camila being the only one missing in her life. Pitying the woman, her assistant snatches the alcohol from her hands and leaves to find something to help her sober up. The following day, Liliana wakes up alone in her office. She looks around and sees Christmas decorations scattered everywhere with no signs of people. 
She then frantically drives home, shocked to see the usual busy streets empty. Hurrying inside her house, she desperately calls for anyone, but no one answers. Even her TV and internet connections aren't working. Realizing that she's completely alone, Liliana panics and runs around the empty streets, desperately searching for any sign of life. Just when all hope is lost, she hears a crash from the liquor section in the supermarket. So Liliana hurries to investigate. To her surprise, she finds Pequena, who is ecstatic to see her alive. He straight up reminds her that she said she'll only be with him if he's the last man on earth, which has now come true. This realization horrifies the woman. Refusing to believe this, Liliana returns home and tries to calm down, but a persistent knocking on the door interrupts her thoughts. She instantly regrets opening it upon seeing Pequena with a cart full of alcohol. His drunkenness, however, leads him to collapse, forcing her to care for him throughout the day. The following day, he wakes up and giggles as he confirms that he hasn't been dreaming. Liliana corrects him that they're living a nightmare, so she demands his help to find out why they seem to be the only ones left. However, he doesn't share her worry about everyone else disappearing. To investigate, they check out usually crowded places like the amusement park and movie theater, wherein Pequena happily grabs every food he can, angering his companion further. They then visit their office building, but there are still no signs of anyone else. Defeated, Liliana returns home with Pequena following her, determined to convince her that they have to repopulate Earth. This leaves her disgusted. In a short time in her home, the sloppy man makes a mess of her kitchen as he cooks a greasy meal. While doing so, he rambles about how the digital age actually disconnected people when they opt to send text messages instead of calling or meeting up. The woman asserts that it was easier, but Pequena argues that it isolated them. He insists that the gadgets made them pay less attention to each other, so people get dismissed quickly. He calls the digital era a new religion that separated people while corporations profited from them. When Liliana complains about the fatty meal he prepared, Pequena explains that the healthy food agenda causes bad moods in people, since they need fat to be happy. He adds that the meal will give them the energy to repopulate the planet. Pissed, she cuts off his delusions and clarifies that she still refuses to be with him, even when he's the last man on earth. She then orders him to be gone after she's done taking a shower. While she's there, however, he startles her by following her there, telling her he needs a shower too. Stubborn as ever, Pequena overstays his welcome, determined to spend more time with a woman of his dreams. Since Liliana is still distraught, he convinces her to drink to calm her nerves, promising that he'll be out of her sight once she feels better. Their drunkenness finally leads them to enjoy each other's company. Liliana rants about how her life was perfect since she mastered the art of handling responsibility with autonomy. However, Pequena thinks people working to feel appreciated is just another exploitation from modern capitalism. The woman then realizes that despite his irksome demeanor, Pequena is quite smart. Later, she admits her plans to sweep Camila off his feet during the party, but everything went to waste. Her companion asks what Camila has that he doesn't, so Liliana points out that the man is way more attractive than him. He refutes that such beauty standards don't mean anything during intimate times when they're up close and vulnerable to one another. Liliana acknowledges that Pequena is good with words and can convince people with his views. However, she knows that he's likely just getting her drunk to get her to bed. She asserts that no matter how drunk, desperate, and lonely she is, she won't be with someone like Pequena. Despite this, the two still end up in bed together, and Liliana is overwhelmed by how satisfied he makes her feel. In the morning, Liliana sobers up and regrets sleeping with Pequena, so she throws him out of her home. However, the woman instantly becomes lonely, so she hurries to the door to call him back, only to find him still standing there. She pulls him back into her home, much to Pequena's delight. Weeks later, they manage to coexist and live harmoniously as romantic partners. She even starts picking up on his bad habits, such as eating a fatty breakfast, not caring about the messy house, and poor hygiene. Despite their previous differences, Liliana appreciates Pequena's company, even during intimacy, as she discovers more about her desires she has never explored before. Their paradise, however, is interrupted when the doorbell rings, shocking them both. With careful steps, Liliana opens the door and finds Marta. The assistant shares that she experienced the same thing after the Christmas party. As the women embrace, Pequena's sudden appearance puzzles Marta. Caught red-handed, Liliana can only explain in embarrassment that they now live together. Liliana defends that Pequena isn't as sloppy as they thought since he's also sensitive, thoughtful, and fun. She even boasts about how he satisfies her, so she asks her assistant to give the man she fell in love with a chance. This revelation surprises Marta. While the three stick together under one roof, Marta starts showing interest in Pequena, seemingly curious about what the last man on earth can offer. As time goes on, Liliana watches the two interact with deep jealousy. 
In the middle of the night, Liliana wakes up alone and hears screams of delight from Marta's room. She goes downstairs to check, but only finds Pequena drinking water from the aquarium, making her suspicions grow. The next day, Liliana invites them for a jog outside, but they make excuses to stay home. After confirming that her boss is left through the security camera, Marta prepares to spend time with Pequena again, not knowing she has fallen for a trap. Just as Liliana suspected, she catches the two on her bed together. Betrayed, the woman scolds her assistant, asserting that she has the whole world, yet Marta chose to betray her in her own home and bed. The woman defends that her boss told her to give the man a chance, but Liliana clarifies that she didn't mean getting in bed with him. Next, she confronts Pequena, who justifies that being the last man on earth, it'll be selfish to reserve his services to one woman. He even claims that monogamy is just another lie from Western culture. Unconvinced, Liliana orders them to be gone by the time she returns from her jog. The frustrated woman jogs her way to their office and is surprised to find Camila there. He recounts waking up in his car and finding the building empty. The last thing he remembers is dropping Lorena off at her apartment since she was feeling sick. He clarifies that nothing happened between them and he was supposed to return to the party to find Liliana since he also wanted to be with her. Hearing this, she pulls him in for a passionate kiss and brings him back home. However, Pequena and Marta are still there, pleading to stay since they have nowhere else to go. Camila agrees that they should stick together as the last people on earth. Determined to start anew with Camila, Liliana warns her ex-lover and assistant never to speak of their past with him. That night, Liliana finally sleeps with Camila but realizes that he's not as good in bed. Adding to her disappointment, she hears Marta and Pequena screams of pleasure through the walls. The following day, Liliana finds herself immediately bored of Camila, while Pequena and Marta are having a blast together, making her jealous. Late that afternoon, Camila invites Pequena for a private talk, aiming to throw the other couple out since he's appalled by their chaotic behavior. This leaves the women behind, with Marta thrilled that they found their perfect lovers, though Liliana doesn't share the enthusiasm. When they return that evening, the women discover that the men became friends during their time away. Because of this, Liliana remains stuck with her assistant and ex-lover, who continue their loud, intimate times while Camila is passed out drunk. At her wit's end, Liliana tells the other couple to leave. The next day, Pequena and Marta finally move away, giving the new couple privacy. However, Liliana remains unsatisfied with Camila's monotonous routine. She tries to have a sensible conversation with him like she and Pequena used to have, but he doesn't understand what she means. While getting groceries alone one day, Liliana recalls her happy days with Pequena. As if on cue, the man in question arrives. This allows them to catch up, and seeing the holiday decorations still on display at the store, Pequena suggests celebrating the new year together. Despite not being sure what day it really is, he believes that holiday rituals are what make time pass. Otherwise, all they have is dull monotony. This inspires Liliana, so she agrees. Soon, the four celebrate together on their version of New Year's Eve. For the first time in a while, Liliana has fun and dances with Pequena. Near the end, Pequena suggests doing the tradition of going around the block with her suitcase so their year will be full of travels. He invites everyone to join in, but only Liliana follows him. Once outside, he confesses that he actually plans to run away from Marta as she can't get the hint that he wants to break up. Pequena adds that he's missed Liliana since they left because he actually loves her. He then invites her to go with him, but she's conflicted about leaving her home along with Marta and Camilo. She also doubts the man's plans to go around the world and do whatever they want. Pequena calmly accepts her decision and bids her goodbye. However, after a moment of clarity, Liliana catches up with him, finally deciding to be honest with her feelings for him. With that, the two join hands and embark on a journey together. The following morning, Liliana wakes up in her luxury apartment, returning to the morning of her office Christmas party. Feeling like she woke up from a long dream, she continues the day as usual, though confused about what happened. At work, everything happens exactly as they did before the Christmas party. However, when Pequena greets her and Marta, Liliana looks at him knowingly. As the Christmas party commences, she bumps into Pequena and finally appreciates everything about the man she once hated. With a new chance in life, she willingly goes home with him and even takes the unhealthy snack he offers. Before the elevator closes, onlookers try to glimpse the strange couple, whose relationship had to start with Pequena being the last man on earth. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.